No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 Hey guys, Kimo Chase here, back once again with some more Unison League gameplay. And today we have some new updates that I want to show you guys. So, let's begin. The first update we have is the three uh, castles or the three kingdoms. Um, this event is just a cosmetic event where, oops, let me just reload this page. Um, it's a cosmetic event, in my opinion, where and a monster event, where there's three types of castles. I'll show you guys later on. And basically, the first one is where you get have a chance to get a rare item or a rare weapon, and this can be reforged using Ren balls to a weapon that's up to super uh, super, super rare quality. Um, there's one for each class. Um, something standard that is in most events usually we get super super rare equipment and the second castle Fort of Shoal is for armor and helmet. And so right here um, We have a chance to get a great black ninja mask a crimson Kunoichi clip great black ninja suit and a crimson Kunoichi garb and the last castle uh, Fort of Samsara has a chance of catching the monster Soul Taker, and this will be caught at a uh, super rare quality, I think, and it can be reforged to a super super rare. And so this is a neutral monster. I think it's a really good monster to have. Um, I'll show you guys later on um, these dungeons, but before that, let's see what else updates are in store for us. So in the rare summoning department we have Japanese style gear and these gear are going back to the past in which gear cost for weapons are now 25 armor and helmet are 626 again and yeah that's about it so weapons they're back to their old testament form I think testaments are great in my opinion much more reliable than having let's say heart of whatever solely because physical testament procs with all abilities that are used not just one ability so it gives more versatility and more chance of procking the testament in general which i think is really nice and something new for the equipment is that they have null status ailment so in pve and maybe some kind of in some guild battles these kind of armors are really nice to have um, being able to resist poison, blind, par paralysis, confusion are all great uh, status ailments to have negated. And so I think if you guys really want these equipment, you should aim for these. Weapons, not so much be unless you just want the cosmetics. But in my opinion, these uh, equipment gear are really worth shooting for. Uh, so go test your luck and see what you get. And lastly, this has been added recently. Um, two more Valkyries have been added to the Monster Summon, one for fire and one for water. These, so now there's more options of having buffs for each element rather than just having green and light having all the buffs for best monsters. Um, now there's a 4 stack buffer for fire and a 4 stack buffer for water. Um, water is similar to light, however I think aside from that it gives a, uh, it gives removes it removes status ailments as well. I think the heal is slightly lower, but removing the status ailment is really beneficial to have. I think if I were to choose between light or water, I'd choose a water one. If I were to pick an independent monster. And the fire Valkyrie is just the sa same. It gives 4 stack buff. However, instead of healing, it does physical damage to all enemies. Uh, 140 ability power, and I think it's a 10, 10 increase. So slightly less damaged in like a behemoth but it it just overthrows behemoth in terms of giving a four stack buff to every player on the field which I think is really really nice to have all right so that's it for events uh not events notice guys um i'm gonna take this guy take this time to show you these new dungeons that are, are in store for us so right here there's only two castle three shows up in random time intervals um, I'm going to have a recording later on and just edit out the part where I wait for the Castle 3 to show up. So I'll show you guys the first two. Probably just two in general because the first one, 
I don't really need a weapon in, in general, but if you guys are just starting out in the game and you want a sub equipment to have and you want one for your class, then take this time to just grab one. There's like a spear, a fan, a bow, a star. Um, just look at the one that fits for you in the notice and then just go for it. As long as you unlock, as long as you beat all these monsters that are listed on these uh, wanted posts, then you will get the equipment. So Castle 2 is where the fun part begins. So I haven't done any yet, so I'm probably going to do the first three for you guys. Maybe four. We'll see how it goes. But uh, yeah. Uh, so these uh, bosses aren't that difficult. Until you get like the last stage. That one gets slightly difficult. I know I was struggling on my Lancer too, and she's pretty powerful. But you really want you want to come to Fort uh, Shoal just to farm Ren, Ren Balls. I already got three so far. These are used for reforging your equipment that you get in this dungeon. So I think for weapons and armor, it no for weapons, it takes about a hundred or something in order to reforge it to super super rare. Or I think that's the monsters, I think. But you're gonna need a lot if you want to get some of the equipment in this game. So best be farming now, guys. Um, you're gonna need a lot and keep forging them. They're also great um, materials to be used as sub equipment. I think I checked the neutral one. It's about slightly stronger than a, f uh, fire, a fire king pasta. So if you want just sub equipment to have on the side, grab some of those. They're really nice to have for stat boosters. So yeah, this event is really good in my opinion. It gives great money, great drops, and if you have any better to just farm up all the cosmetics because in Fort, Sh Fort Shoal they can get up to four different kinds of equipment. You can get the, the mask, the hair clip, the garb, and the ninja suit. So yeah, just start farming up eventually get them all. For me, on my other Lancer, I have the full blue and black sets and I think just the uh, just the, uh, actually I'm just going to expand right here uh, just the garb, I think, for my uh, for my Lancer. So yeah, I've been struggling with uh, <laughs> I've been struggling with inventory space recently so I'm just going to take this time to expand and yeah, if, don't be afraid to expand, expand guys. Because I'm pretty sure with the uh, rates that are up nowadays, if it's not like super rare or super super rare rates up, I wouldn't bother trying to summon. But uh, if you have money to throw around, be my guest. I'd rather just use gems safely for like guaranteed rates or increased rates for that specific tier. Otherwise, I'm just gonna use all my gems for inventory expansion. Where are my teammates? Teammates, where are my teammates? Oh well, I think we can solo this on my Lancer if we don't have anyone joining us. But I'm gonna save cost. So one tip guys, from what I've experienced personally is if you're soloing a dungeon like I am right now currently, I don't know if anyone's gonna join. Um, just, if you're pretty strong, just use basic attacks, save your cost for when you get to the boss so you can go all out. The reason why is because these basic monsters, they don't really hurt you, but the bosses, the, the, the amount of difficulty that increases when you get to the boss stage is drastic. Because bosses can basically like two-shot your NPCs depending on what level you are. So it's best to save all your costs for the boss stage and just like waste your uh, basic abilities on just getting your unison up and just using basic attacks to farm chain points and get that unison up. So yeah, see, my Lancer can just basically just two-shot these with just basic auto attacks. So I don't really need to use any hardcore abilities like Night Blitz or Dragon Thrust. I can just simply just use basic attacks. I can also take this time to uh, buff my character and attack. Probably gonna use my Kuchulian that I rolled earlier this week and get that increased attack buff. 
Oh yeah, avoid attacking this guy. I hate, I hate this monster so much because of that reflect damage. Alright. Alright, so I'm going to use... I think I can just two-shot him, honestly. But I'm going to use um, uh, Kuchilin just to be safe. But I'm pretty sure my, uh, my Lancer is enough. Is strong enough to take him down in like two shots or three shots. All these buffs though. Except this guy. I'd rather use an attacking monster. A fire monster versus a water monster. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. I can definitely one shot this guy. Yeah. It's silly. Well, that wasn't one shot. That was two shot. So I got a drop here. Hopefully, it's not a red ball. But I'm praying as a cosmetic item. I think it is. It's not difficult to get the cosmetic equipment, guys. I honestly think it's really easy to get. So yeah, I'll do one more, and then I'll cut off this video and I'll show you guys the uh, the third castle. So right here, got a hair clip. Pretty easy. That was just a second tier dungeon too, so it's not difficult. Pretty easy stuff here. If you're like level 58 like me, then you should be fine. So I'll do one more for you guys. Oh god, there's so much equipment in my inventory. Uh, let's see. So yeah, this is probably the reason why. I'm stacking these pastas right here so I can reforge them later. So I'm just going to get rid of these. Don't really need these equipment. And we can go back to questing. So we'll do one more. This is the highest tier I think I can do without it being too difficult. May do one more, but we'll see. So that's the rare monster sound. If only my game loads. Alright. So we'll just sit here and wait for everyone to join. Because I don't think I can solo this time around on my Lancer. Well, I could, maybe. We'll have to see. Nice Commander. Commodore Coat. Man, I really want one. Nice damage. Easy mode. Okay, NPC. I see you. Oof. My entire team is paralyzed. It's hilarious. Yeah, this is pretty. This one's pretty easy. I don't think it's too difficult. I just keep buffing everyone. Kill the nurse! Kill the mage! Kill the mage! Don't go for the nurse! Not the nurse! Alright. I hate these cats so much. Let's get rid of them now before they get difficult. I mean, before they start getting a nuisance from me. Tame, please attack. Please don't AFK, AFK my team. This actually isn't really difficult. I'm just over exaggerating. What I'm gonna do for the next fight is I'm going to use uh, Kuchulian for the attack buff and then I'll just go that's killing everyone. Ooh, that guy's gonna take a lot of damage right there. Alright, so go ahead and use this. Green with me. Green! Oh my gosh, he used red. Well, it's an attack buffer, I think, so I think that's fine. Alright, 
three shot at that guy. Easy, easy stuff. And I'll just kill this guy. Easy peasy. You a red ball. Alright. Okay, okay, let's see. I think I got like three or four red balls in that one. Ooh, never mind, I got six. Okay. Oh, never five. <laughs> oh man, I missed one of the wanted monsters. Alright, guys, I'm gonna cut this out and I'm gonna pick up recording once I see the castle for Castle 3 available. So until then, I'll see y'all next time. A few moments later. Hey guys, and we are back. Um, done. Took like two or three hours for the dungeon to come back up, but now it's finally up. Uh, Fort Samsara, this is the one where you can get the pet, or the monster drop. So, this one you can get, unlike the others, where it's proficiency, this one gives gems. So, I highly suggest that you guys can do all of them for the free gems. You probably won't be able to see them again for a while, so it's best to take advantage of that opportunity now. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do two dungeons for you guys. Um, pretty self-explanatory. Just kill everything in the way and hope that the boss drops. It comes in a chest like all the other event monsters and uh, of course the higher the difficulty is the more higher of a chance of it, of it dropping. And this one too drops uh, red balls. Uh, some, nothing different from the other one. It's just that however this one this dungeon comes up on random intervals. So you want to stay on top of uh, when the dungeon comes out and take advantage of farming for that monster if you really desire it. Alright, so I'm doing level 1. This is pretty basic, easy stuff here. Um, I don't think it drops level 1. I could be wrong because usually the monster at the end determines uh, whether it drops. And I think for level 1, it's like um, not the boss. So. Actually, okay, yeah, it's, it's a ball drops here, so I think, yeah, so it does still drop here. Um, so I guess all the difficulties drop it is just that tires has better drop rate. Um, that was the preform that you catch it in. So if you guys see the ball, then you got the drop. All right, so that's level one. I'll do one more for you guys. Pretty easy dungeon. Nothing too difficult. Got some more red balls for here. And free gem. Alright, so I sold that one pretty easy. Level 1's not that difficult. And level 2. Alright, level 2. So I think it has a 6 hour interval, so every 6 hours. I could be wrong. But uh, just stay on top of ca uh, looking on every now and then, see if the dungeon's up, and you'll probably be able to find it sooner or later. Alright, so this time around we have people. It makes it a lot, lot easier to do the dungeon with people around. Got three lancers, an archer, and a paladin. So, as long as, um, one thing that's annoying if you're going for like proficiency or gems is that occasionally you'll find rare stages where the entire room are red balls. And that can get really annoying because you won't be able to get all the monsters that are available. Wow, that's, that's some weird placements right there. <laughs> but yeah, if you get the red balls room, then you probably just get that one monster needed for the monster list to get the gem with proficiency points. So that means you'll have to come back into the same dungeon at the same level to make sure you get everything from it. Um, alright, I 
guess we use fire. I think this stays up for like an hour or so. Take that chance to just farm like crazy. And eventually you might get it. I'm not sure what the drop rates are, but I am assuming it's pretty low. So best of luck to everyone out there farming for it. Um, that's the end of the video. If you like this video, please give me a like. Leave a comment below. And if you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe. Alright, that's it, that's it for this video, guys. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.